Happy holidays from Astroborn. I'm Derek. I'm Jason. It's me, your boy Paulie, and we're counting down the 24 days of Christmas the only way we know how. By drinking a shitload of beer. A fuck ton of beer! Each day until Christmas, we're reviewing a different beer from the Brewer's Advent Calendar 2020. Behind each of these 24 doors is a 16.9 ounce can of imported German beer. Perfect for celebrating the winter season. Join us in the spirit of the drunken holiday. From our dysfunctional family to yours. Cheers and Merry fucking Christmas. Now let's drink. Now let's get drunk. December 3rd! What the fuck's up? Welcome back to another 24 Brews of Christmas. Today's beer is... Kausel. Kausenbrau. Kauselbrau. This is the Kausel from Kausenbrau. They're in Aschenfurt, Germany. It's an exquisite, fantastic, and beautiful pills. This beer was brewed according to the Bavarian Purity Law of 1516. It's the uh, German Pilsner style. Now we're talking slammable, crammable, hopefully enjoyable. Pilsner, not Astroborn's favorite style of beer, but you know, we'll give it a whirl. It is German. It can't be that bad, right? Council. Got a fucking owl thing on it. That's pretty sick. I like owls. Let's open it up, get it in a glass. Without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and get to drinking. Oh, look at that pour, it's all fucking head. I botched the shit out of that. Whoops! I do the uh, see-through test. Hey, come on, there's nothing like a little head. <laughs> Am I right? Smells like a Pilsner. Smells that has that delicious Budweiser smell. Just smells like a malty uh, Miller Lite to me. Well, the weather outside is frightful. But these beers are so delightful. Sweetness. The only thing left to do is give it a little Christmas slam down. Let's see how she goes. Let's dive in. Cheers. <clears throat> hey, that's not bad. Dude, what the hell? That's pretty good. Kind of tastes like soap. So yeah, I'm getting a little bit of like your typical straw notes and shit you get from the pills, but it's not nasty. It doesn't taste cheap. Um, obviously, being German, that's a good thing. It's got a little bit of that uh, banana characteristic to it on the back end. Tastes like a Pilsner going down, but just, I mean, just a small little amount. Mm. Dude, that's fucking drinkable. I like that. I fucking like it. This could be a rough Christmas. I'm going to go on the record and say I like this. It is a Pilsner. It doesn't make me want to commit suicide. It's got to be doing something right. It uh, does not taste like Budweiser at all. You, you can almost tell it's German by the complexity of it. Seriously, dude, that's the best Pilsner I've ever fucking had. I'm not, I'm not even joking. I don't know what the other guys are going to say. They'll probably say it sucks. It does kind of smell like a shitty beer, though. Like, just the smell. Jingle bells, this beer smells. It's got a lot more bitterness on the tongue, but it's not utterly terrible. It's just like, not what I was expecting, like water piss American beer. It has a little bit more to offer than your typical PBR, Miller Lite, Bud Light. I'll tell you right now, if I was in Germany, spending my Christmas, they had a whole case of this causal shit, I would put them down. Yeah, I would put them down. I feel like our dads would really appreciate this beer because it, it tastes like beer. But it doesn't taste like, uh, you know, like gas station beer. You can tell it's it's pure. I mean, it's not bad. I don't hate it. I, I, it's not my go-to. It's no Miller Lite, but it's uh, it's not it's not awful. Like, what's the best Pilsner you've ever had? Comment below. For me, it nothing noteworthy. Feinstes Bayerisches Bier. 
It's beer. Give me beer. <laughs> Give me beer. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to drink these warm. I don't know. What do you guys do in Germany? Do you even drink this in Germany? Probably not. They're probably like this fucking idiot. Boy, I'm gonna get some more of that. Oh, Christmas beer. Oh, Christmas beer. Yeah, that's not bad. I could crush that one. Final rating, I'd say 3 out of 10. But for a Pilsner that I actually didn't totally fucking hate, we'll say 4 out of 10. Well, here's nothing. That's about all I have to say about that. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to you. Cheers to you guys out in Germany. Cheers to those watching. Uh, happy December 3rd. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.